Yeah, I'll tell you. Um, maybe at the end, there's there's four that four. were personalized. Okay, perfect. Hello, everyone. What is that? Oh, is that my wine fridge? What is that in there? Oh, yeah. What's up? So, um, whoever did the rose bundles for Bonita Bonita, um, I'm we already signed all the memoirs, but um, I'm signing mine now. So, um, if you guys head to bonitabonitawine.com, we're doing a Valentine's Day special. You can get. Um, a bundle you get three rosés and then you get a signed memoir as well so we only have 70 um bundles and i think there might be like 20 left so you guys have to go and get some the first round you all are getting shipped out today what up <laughs> thank you um and then also who's ever a bonita bonita wine club member um, Artem and I are doing a Zoom in an hour and a half, so 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you have some bubbles, come join me and my hubby. Um, we're gonna do Q and A. We're popping open a bottle of champagne. We're gonna cheers to Nikki Bella says I do. Um, thank you all for help making it a huge success. I'm becoming one of the number one shows on E! You all are amazing, so thank you. Um, Artem's making some coffee. So what else is up? How's everyone's Friday? Is everyone ready for the weekend? I know I am. I at first thought today was Thursday. I was so like off, but yeah. Wow, what's up with all the, the Dolph Ziggler stuff? You big fan? <laughs> I know, it's only on Hulu if you pay for cable. That's that's the one hard thing is our show you can't stream yet. It's um, strictly on E, but for my UK fans and Europe, um, we are coming to you guys, um, I believe it's in a few weeks. So look out for that announcement, which will be cool. And I think we're airing in a few weeks. I feel like it's right around Valentine's Day somewhat. So it's perfect timing, you know, the month of love. Um, what else? Thank you. Thank you, um, you guys, for your nice comments. Super sweet. Yes, it will be available in France. Um, Arden, when we did it, it was, I remember we did promos for it yesterday. I feel like it was around Valentine's Day when it comes to France. Yeah. Right, Arden? Mm -hmm. And you're lucky in the UK and Europe, you guys will be able to stream it. So you guys are in luck. Hi from Melbourne. I, I'm not sure. I think, I feel like Australia, people in Australia have already been watching the show, I believe. Thank you. Mateo's good. Mateo's napping, which we're going to have to wake him up soon. Um, Mateo's speech is doing well. He is now in speech therapy and um, he's starting to go twice a week, but he's really thriving in school. Thank you for asking. And he's talking a lot more. We still have a little ways to go, but he's doing so, so well. So thank you. Um, quite a journey um, it's been, but we are so proud of our little boy, huh, Artem? Yeah. Artem's over here. Artem. <laughs> um, so how cool, right? Who's read this? Who has this, by the way? Oh, you have a sign book. That's amazing. Yes, we are watching the new season of Love Island. What do you guys think of the people so far? We're not all the way caught up. Artem and I are a few episodes behind. We're only on episode three, right, Artem? Um, do you guys like... By the way, I love Maya. Is that how you, she says her name? Maya? Maya? Love it. Ma, is it Maya Jamma? Is that how you say it? Um... She's dropped it gorgeous. Oh my gosh. She does really well too. It's not easy being a host, especially filling those shoes of Love Island UK and she's killing it. Um, she was made to do it. That is for sure. Um, so I really love watching it. Someone asked, do I have abs? Kinda. I used to have amazing abs and now they're kind of there. <laughs> they're more like fun abs. Um, well, if you need this book, 
If you go get a rosé bundle right now on bonitabonitawine.com, you will get this plus three bottles of rosé, so, which is perfect for Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, all the, all the things. Um, yeah. Um, what else was I gonna ask you guys? Who's joining the Zoom um, in like an hour and a half? Do I have any Club Bonita Bonita members on here? Are you guys joining Artem and I's Zoom? No, I'm not left-handed. I'm right. But it, I think it looks that way when you're on the camera right. It looks opposite. Let's see. Yeah, abs are very hard to maintain. Food in Napa, so what I've realized, a lot of people, when you move to Napa, they call it the Napa 10. It's kind of like going to college, but everyone here gains weight, and I totally have. Um... I think the one struggle Napa is all the baked goods are amazing. So that's like really, yeah, tough on me. Artem laughs because every day I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna have any more whatever it is. And I, it's always tough. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um. Can't wait to watch the wedding where, oh, the finale. Next week is really, um, next week's episode's amazing. Um, as you guys all saw, Artem heads to Turkey. And then um, uh, we take start to take over Paris, Brie and I, and it was a lot, of, a lot of fun. Next week's a really great episode. Huh, Artem? There's a lot of feels, a lot of amazing feels. Get um, a box of tissues ready, by the way. You will need that. No, I'm not gonna flex my abs. Maybe in a few weeks. <laughs> mm. Oh, thank you, Artem. Someone just said we're the cutest. We have a lot of fun together. We, Artem and I, we got that love thing, huh? Artem, come over here. Whatever. Watching Tay Tay. You're watching Tay Tay. Um, are you gonna wake him up in 15 minutes? So um, yes, Brie and I do want to write another book. Um, we want to wait a little bit. Um, we want to write another memoir later in our life, but we have a few ideas of writing a different kind of book soon. More like a wine tasting workshop. Not just wine tasting, more like coming to Napa workshop. We tell you exactly what to do when you come to Napa Valley. Or shall we say, when you have a sister Sunday. Um, so that's kind of what Brie and I are looking to do because we always get asked from friends, family, anyone. People online, people on social media, fans, all of it. Um, always asking where they should go when they come to Napa, Sonoma. And Brie and I do know all the amazing spots, exactly how you should do it even to fashion, all of it, right? So Brie and I are like, we just, we should write a book about it, you know? And we could even do, make it like a checklist or like a workshop where you can write in it, you could put memories in it, little, you know, do little photo things, comes with like a Polaroid camera, you could put your moments in there. So, kind of the guide to an ultimate sister Sunday. By the way, Patton, don't try to steal my idea of my book. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, who's it? Oh, I already signed all the books. That was like really fast, right? Um, thank you all for the compliments. You guys are all so cute. Um, is it true Brie is a lesbian? Uh, sometimes I probably shouldn't read these comments out loud. <laughs> Where did you hear that rumor? I would really love to know. Um, I almost want to screenshot that and send that to my sister. Um, my that is. Would say yes. <laughs> you, how did you know? <laughs> Some of the stuff people say are... Some of you in the headlines I'm, I'm on right now, it's like I won't even discuss, but i um, disappointed. I will just, to say the least, um, especially when it comes to my wedding dress, just so everyone knows, my wedding dress that I paid for. It's just quite funny. Um, do you ever cook or just Artem? No, actually, I do cook, huh, Artem? Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he acts. So when Artem's gone, 
I always, of course, do the cooking. I actually do cook. And, um, but there are a few times that I'll actually cook breakfast and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna come right back on and make Artem come back on with us. But I have to do one thing real quick. I'm gonna go touch up my makeup um, and get ready for a Zoom. Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, okay, I just wanted to finish up with you guys for a little bit before I go touch up my face um, and get dressed for our Zoom. I'm really excited to have some champagne. Oh, Artem, I didn't even think. Oh no, we have cheese. I, I wanted to put together like a cheese and charcuterie board with our champagne. What else, Artem, should we pair with our champagne? What do we have? That's a good question. What do we have? Um, let's check it out. Let's see. Um, it's always fun. So, we'll have to find it. Okay, in the comments put, what is your guys' favorite thing to pair with champagne? Let me know. Um, okay, like, I, so obviously one of my top is caviar, but we don't have caviar right now. Um, so I feel like when you live in Napa, you just always have cheeses. By the way, has anyone seen this thing? It's like so you could store cheese um, and it keeps it nice and safe and then doesn't let like the smells go in. Um, we put some stuff. So we're out strawberries. I love strawberries and dark chocolate is really good. I have some dairy free for me. Have you guys, anyone heard of this brand? Super yum. Cookies from Bouchon, that would have been good, but I threw them away earlier so I wouldn't be tempted to eat them. Now I kind of wish I saved them. <laughs> Arm's like, should I get them out of the trash? Is that gross? That is gross. <laughs> Why? They're in like wrapped in plastic. That's gross. They're like right on top. That's gross. Artem said that's gross. So we won't do that. Artem, I feel like this cheese is old. I wish we had that one orange cheese. That would have been so good. Yeah. My, my kitchen. Isn't that pretty? We're obsessed. I, we just love it, love it, love it. Okay, I don't know what that is. I think it's rare. That is. What time is it? 3.30? I'm gonna go start to use makeup. to be thrown. Oh, that's dough. Yeah, that mm -hmm. needs to be thrown. Okay. Um, okay, everyone. Well, I'm gonna go touch up my face. If um, if you haven't yet um, and you want some rosé for February, uh, make sure to head to bonitabonitawine.com to, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh yeah, to get our sweetheart bundle for Valentine's Day. Three bottles of rosé, no shipping. Um, won't charge you for shipping and you get um, a free memoir, Brie and I's memoir, Incomparable, and we ship to you. I mean, we sign up for you. And um, members, wine club members, um, it'll be a little bit cheaper for you guys. Um, also, who's going to Phoenix for Super Bowl week? If you guys are there on Wednesday or if I have any zonies in the house right now, um, Brie and I were doing a live podcast show, so Artem will be there, and then um, we have Frankie Muniz as a guest. There's a few other surprises we are trying to get booked that we can't talk about, very football related. Um, JJ will be closing up our show um, with some 
affirmation inspiration. We'll have Mama Bella and Johnny in the house. Um, they're going to be watching. Let's see. We have one of our good friends since before high school. It has to be middle school. He's a part of a band. Um, he's singer songwriter. He hasn't, I don't think, though, been a part of his band for a while. But I don't know. He's opening up the show, so that'll be cool. Um, but it's in downtown Phoenix. So if you head to the Bella's Podcast IG, they have all the information there. But you guys should definitely come. It's going to be a lot of fun. So Wednesday before Super Bowl, it'll be very heavily Super Bowl fun, pump you up type of theme. So um, we are, we're going to just have a... There's going to be some dancing involved, cheerleading, just a bunch of stuff. So definitely come. And then... What else is going on? Oh, is anyone going to heal? We have the craziest week next week. Literally, um, Wednesday, Brie and I do um, our podcast live show. Then Thursday, we are hosting a Bonita Bonita wine dinner. We have a meet and greet first, which is for the first 100 people at Gila River Resorts and Casino. And then after that, we have a 20-person wine dinner, which I think seats are still available. Um, so we take you through a wine tasting and a pairing of Bonita Bonita. You'll be at a table with Brie and I. That's Thursday. Then Friday, we head to Media Row. I mean, yeah, Radio Row. Radio Row. And then the Rolling Stone party. I think Drake. I'm still up in the air about that one. I think it would be cool to see Drake live. But um, it depends how far out it is. And then Saturday we go to the Bud Light party and we watch Imagine Dragons and Kane Brown perform, which will be amazing. Oh, and then Saturday day we have um, we are competing in the Celebrity Sweat Tournament for NBCU. So I would say that's a pretty busy week, and we're still waiting on the Eagles to get back to us if they're going to give us tickets or not to go to Super Bowl. Because I told Bria I'm not paying all that money to go to Super Bowl. I could watch it in a bar with my family and be just as happy. So um, obviously I'd love to be there, but if and has anyone seen the price of the tickets? I mean, the seats that we were at last year, they're going for 25,000 a piece. I was like, no way. And nosebleeds are 6,000. I was like, that could pay for my son's private school. No, we're good. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, if anyone is, in Phoenix next week, come join us on any of those fun events. Um, it's gonna be really fun. And yeah, that's that's it, right Artem? Yeah. And then exactly from an hour, or exactly in an hour from now, as you can tell I'm very tired, um, Artem and I are gonna be popping a bottle of champagne with you all for our wine club members. And we're all gonna be hanging out, talking about the wedding, the show, all this stuff that people have wanted to ask Artem and I. Oh, so, Tay -tay's awake. oh, Tay Tay's awake, yay. So, um, Teo, um, yeah, he'll be in the background as mommy and daddy have their champagne. Um, Mrs. Rachel on YouTube will have, probably have to be the distraction. <laughs> and then we'll take him to dinner, but um, yeah. So, come have fun with us. Does Artem ever kiss your feet? He does. Huh, Artem? Not a lot, though. I feel like he did a lot when we were dating. They always do a lot when you're dating. <laughs> He's shaking his head right now. I wish you could see. Um, I always try to get a reaction out of him to see what he's gonna do. Um, you should bring that question to the Bonita Bonita Zoom, please. That would be amazing. Okay, so someone said bring back the long hair. Do you understand that I've literally been growing out my hair um, because I was gonna put extensions in. When I was in New York and when I was in LA yesterday, everyone was telling me to keep the bob, that how much they love the bob. Artem wants me to keep the bob. Bree wants me to keep the bob. I'm torn because I want my long hair back, but then I also really like the bob. And someone said they like the lob. I'm really confused. Um, I don't know what to do. So, um, my mom wants me to keep it short. All my mom's friends and people she knows, they all want me to keep it short. Majority of people that when I'm with in person have all told me to keep it short. Um, so, and I hate it because it's like such an, at an awkward length I feel right now, like for the back part. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really, I don't know what to do. Do you guys like this length better than the bob? Like here? 
because this length was cool, but do I keep it here? What do you think, Arna? Would you say this length or this length? Um, maybe a little bit shorter than this. A little shorter than this? See, Arna wants it a little shorter than this. So like here. So like Barmageddon, my Barmageddon hair is what I call it. Mm. Everyone's obsessed with my Barmageddon hair. That's what I keep getting all the compliments from. Everyone keeps saying, go back to what you did on Barmageddon. So I need to do that, I think. Um, I mean, look, it'd be more comfortable because those hair extensions aren't fun to sleep in, if anyone knows what I mean. Okay, so I feel like I talk to you guys forever, but I'm gonna go grab my tail. <laughs> he's definitely not. He's, oh, but we should get him, because it's 3.30. I know, but I don't know if he's. Okay. Well, I'm going to go do my makeup and get ready for my club members. All right. Mwah. Love you guys. Thank you for letting me talk your ear off and telling you everything that we are doing. And also, if you haven't tuned in to Nikki Bella Says I Do, make sure to head to your DVRs or wherever you watch your shows and watch last night's episode. It was a lot of fun. I actually think I was debating this, and I think I'm going to just do it. Um... I was gonna put up one of my strip teases, like the practice ones, um, like how it looks when you're practicing that with the coach, because it shows you like how empowering it actually is. Um, so I was thinking of doing that. Maybe post that, I don't know, but okay. Well, I'm gonna get Tay Tay and I'm gonna touch up my face. I love you guys, have an amazing weekend, be safe. And I hope to see so many of you in Phoenix next week. Um, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. Okay, bye.